Hey guys, this is Brent with Western Equipment, and we're here with our next video in the Moen Acre series. So today we're gonna have the 2020 John Deere E100. The E100 has the 17 and a half horse Briggs and Stratton engine. And also something a little different about this mower that we haven't had on one yet is we're going to have a CVT transmission, meaning that we're gonna to have to pick that forward and reverse position. So a little different than what we normally have with that hydrostatic having the forward and reverse right there at the pedal. So guys, uh, before we get started here, what these videos are is where we go out and see how fast we can mow this one acre of grass with this particular mower. So conditions today is about 90 degrees and We'll go right out here and see kind of how our grass height is. It's going to be fairly short. Uh, we're not going to be taking a whole lot off the top. So we'll pick a spot here and measure down in. Now we always cut right at the three inch mark. So we're at about right at the bottom there, the pin clip. If we measure that, we're going to be right at about a three and a half height. So that's a pretty good amount. You know, in between a quarter to a half an inch cutting off is pretty good in this Bermuda. So we're going to set it on three. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start the mower up here, let you hear how it sounds. I'll start to cut a strip where you can see that clip disbursement, and then we'll keep mowing and keep time of it and see how long it takes. All right guys, so that there is at a low idle. We go ahead and rev it all the way up. Hear how it sounds there. We're set at three. I'll idle back just a little bit here. Go ahead and engage those blades. And then we'll idle back up here. Go ahead and get my timer out. That way we're ready to start that time. So here you can see a little bit of that clip disbursement and I'll start the time and we'll just keep on mowing.
right, guys. So there was our mowing acre with the E100, the 42 inch deck. This is the smallest, most residential mower uh, that John Deere makes uh, as of today and took us right at 44 minutes and 48 seconds. So definitely one of the longer times, which is what we expected. You know, you've got a top speed here, five and a half mile an hour. You have the 42 inch deck. You've got the 17 and a half horse Briggs and Stratton engine. So the smallest of everything that you can get in the mower series from John Deere is what we're working with today. Um, I would say very mixed review on this mower from me. Um, for one, the, the cut quality today wasn't exactly what I'd expected. Um, normally we get a little better cut quality out of these 42 inch decks. Um, I wasn't as impressed. Now some of that's gonna be due to the fact that rain is, has been sparse here lately where we're at. Um, you know, so the ground is a little uneven. It's a little hard, it's a little more bumpy. Uh, you know, so part of that plays into that. Um, and then also one thing that I would definitely point out and I'm feeling it 100% right now, is I'm absolutely worn out after driving this mower. And I don't just mean the fatigue from the lower back seat or from the bumping around, but a lot of it has to do, guys, with the transmission type that's on this mower, being as that we have that CVT transmission. So with this pedal, I'm having to push so much further forward. Now you can't see it here because it's disengaged, but you're having to push so much further forward and with so much more force than what you normally have to on a hydrostatic transmission. With that hydrostat, you can pretty well get on top of that pedal, have your heel on the ground and just push directly down. Whereas with this pedal, you're having to push forward. So you have to adjust that seat a little further forward, which for me being a bigger guy, I've got to have that seat further back keep my belly out of the way so i've got to have it further back meaning i'm having to push a lot further forward so i would say that it is tiresome now the great thing that this mower would be for would definitely be for that person that's in town has that smaller yard that's not going to be trying to tackle a whole acre with this mower now can it do it definitely and can we do it in a reasonable amount of, amount of time definitely you know showing that we are under 45 minutes cutting that acre but I would highly, highly encourage if you're gonna be cutting that much grass to definitely look into that hydrostatic transmission. Overall guys, good mower. The ride quality was good. Um, even though this is a low back seat, it's very comfortable, it's soft and squishy. Um, and like I said, everything performed well. Engine performed well. There weren't many times at all, if any, that I can remember where it bogged down due to too much grass. So overall, pretty good experience other than the fact that I'm just a little bit worn out from that transmission. So guys, I hope that after watching this video, you've seen what you uh, came here to see in this mowing acre series. Make sure to keep checking us out. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and give us a subscribe. And also guys, if you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave those in the comments section below. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. There's like no rain for months and look, and there it, there it is, the day we want to mow. Yep. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Load it up. Thanks dude, could've got that latch. Dude, filming it up is... Yeah, I know. You got, you got that rough job. It's all right. It's all right. Let's call it a day. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and go buy your parts at west-equip.com slash parts.